hello guys welcome to tech mode so in this uh, this is the third part of the tutorial where we will going going to write our full regression test for ui and i have a demo project that i have already shared you in the previous tutorial and we'll be writing cert certain advanced stuff so please bear with me and this in this you're going to learn a lot the topics that we are going to do installation and everything as we have done in the previous tutorial and in this tutorial we are going to basically configure the phantom css and we will be writing our base html base index file so as you can see this is the pro this is the demo project that we have and it's a simple project right now running uh, running at a 008000 and if you don't know how to run this you can install vamp or lamp depending upon your so vamp if you google up for it it's a web server light lightweight web server for windows and similarly for the mac we have a mam mam and you you can host this uh, simple html page and it will basically so right now what i am doing is that i am basically running as you can see here uh, let me show where it is i'm not sure where it is yeah so i am running as a python simple http server if you have a python if you are on a mac python is already installed on you and you can just type this command uh, let me show you this is the command python minus m simple http server 8000 so it will basically host your uh, html page and on 8000 port so you can host using vamp and doesn't matter just host it and make sure it's running so this this is our demo website which is running fine and what we are going to do is that we'll open our project this is our project right now i have deleted everything in the index page we have a package old package file where we have a casper phantom as well as simmer all installed and let's move on to this okay. index to dot js and write some stuff so first of all what we need is that uh, for a slimmer js to work we need absolute path for casper and all so this is kind of optional but you have to do it i'll say so i'll just copy paste certain things from my index one and this is so we are what we are doing is that we are requiring fs module of uh, this is basically a file system and it's already available in node every time so you don't have to use npm install in that thing so Fentium CSS we have installed right now. So now the Casper thing will start. So what we are going to do is that we will basically using Casper.test and again we'll use dash to help help us out. Casper.test. So basically it will give you how you can use a simple assert exist and all in Casper. So things looking good so what we'll do is that we'll casper dot tech dot begin so this is the name of your test i'll say uh, home page oh home. um what the hell happened to my caps lock okay it's working home page screen short ui testing I don't know what happened to my it will work okay and after that it will just take a callback so i'll take function y yeah yeah function and this function is going to take an argument test so it's a variable basically test variable which which is giving me all the information about the apis that we have in if you open the dash we have a def lots of lot of things related to the test if you can see this variable is having lots of different apis so we'll call them later so first thing first you need a phantom css to have work right so this is a config i'll be sharing with you and this is a config that you have to do i'm not writing it it's just saying that casper is casper globally library root library for this is yes, phantom css is this screenshot directory will be this fail fail directory will be this and label i'm not adding label and prefix i'm adding so i'll just make it collapse i don't want to worry about it so we are much concentrated about our casper projects right now casper test cases sorry first thing first as you can see as i have told you in the previous tutorial you have to start something right so casper start similarly uh, we have a url where it is this url 
yes we don't we want this url this url and again it will we have a, we should have a callback function for it it will not take any argument what we are going to do is that we'll just echo out echo 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 page loaded with title and i'm going to append the title i don't know this dot get so this over casper it depends upon you guys i am very pretty much comfortable with this because this is available when you are doing it in this one because casper is already know this but if you do here this so it will sometimes will not work but it will work right now because upper casper is available so depending on you i am comfortable with casper always okay so we are have you have a page loaded so what we want we want casper dot then after that it will take directly the casper dot then simple function what we want is that we want to assert the title right we'll set desert equal mm, what is the title 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 we'll just see the source code and this is the title they have okay go to again this title should be equal to this dot get title simple stuff very simple assertion right okay so what we want is that we want to take a screenshot also of this page now so we require as you can see it's saying target time to wait and selector and all so first argument is what is the div that you wanted to have a screenshot of i'll say i'll click on this i'll say header so full page header with this id will be accessible so dot id slash what is the name of this i'll say full page so full page screenshot is captured and i have a hazard also okay right now done done but we have, what we have to do we have to do two things now who will compare right so i'll copy this function little cheating once again okay so it's a function and and then again okay so again we are calling then so if you if you are not comfortable what is then we'll open dash so dash is basically saying that adds a new navigation step for the opening on location and optionally add a next step to it so basically after starting this what you want is then it's a then open basically we are concerned about then so then again we'll do is this call this function and we'll call phantom css compare all so you, if you wanted to look at the compare all function this is the compare all function for phantom css i'm not concerned about this is done and everything is done so our first test case is ready it's very basic it just go to this website capture the full page that's all and it will create a first baseline image so basically the, the concept of baseline image is that you create a baseline image and after that in the next build it again compare with the previous baseline image and if they are different it's going to create a new directory called failure and will fail that test and if the, they are same it'll say okay done phantom CSS find that they are very pretty much same okay so i'm going to run casper let's go to command line we are just going casper js now this is a different yep we are doing a test so we have to mention test index 2.js this is our file and hit enter so it's submitting something home pen screenshot ui blah 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 it's saying this dot get delay is not fine oh my bad what is this delay this one okay title was wrong spelling mistakes same thing it's again failed okay it says this was to get title oh my bad what is this i'm so bad at typing <laughs> again so we're third time possibly this will pass it's going to load this pass and it's saying that this is the first time i have created a screenshot folder for you let's see what it has for us it's created a directory all right full page 
oh this is the full page no this is not full page this is the heading part that it has get captured header one so this is not what we want we want to have it for full page one second let me see why it's not captured full page okay now i got it because it had not loaded the full page yet so we'll say and again let me see okay viewport is not set this is the problem so i am setting it to full page now view page is a problem because viewport is basically size of your height and width now if you see and i'll i'll just delete this i don't want it to be my base image now i'll ag again run it and this is how you go learn guys you make a mistakes and then this is how we learn <laughs> okay so again it has created full page red we have a full page for this now so this is the first test and let us fail this test now okay in this similar one so what i am going to do is that i'll open up this project not this project here so here i have this project right come on ls okay i'll open up sublime index.html it will open in a second one second wait 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 yes doing something with random thing sublime is just okay what i'm going to do is that i will make this as 1338 and i save it so as you can see on this now refresh the page it's 1338 now if i run the test let's go back to the directory hello casper and run again it should fail right so again i am running this test and it's saying the title is matching and it's look which is good okay according to this is saying that there's not much difference uh -huh. because we have not mentioned the mismatch because we mismatch is by default mismatch is by default is set to five percent so it's a five percent right now now it should okay again it has passed okay probably the title is confirming let's do change in not three three let's change automate the stuff to uh, some garbage and run it again So it's failed yes that's what i want so after fail it's saying something difference here so previously we had this difference is this and you're saying something is added i don't know what is this so this is a difference it has found and this is the ui integration so every time you have a fail you will get to know that our things stuff and change so this is a basic test and in the next tutorial probably i will going to write advanced test cases i know it's a little long tutorial but you will you definitely have got learn different different things so thank you guys and hope to see you in the next video check out my other videos related to api testing ui regression jenkins docker and do like share comment below thank you